well lit. It's, it's the lights on. Oh. <laughs> right, it looks good though. Just leave it. All right, you guys. It's time for us to do the actual ottoman tray from the orange and gold and teal test piece that we did. So, this is that video. To start, we sanded this wooden dial down. It was $10 from, what's that place, Home Depot? Home Depot. The depot for the homes. And we sanded it down with 180 fine grit sandpaper. It says fine on it, so that's, I just read it. It's regular. Comes in a package, looks like this. And after you do that, you'll need to seal it because we all saw the shenanigans when we didn't seal it properly. But it's an easy fix so that you don't get that funky bubbling that we did on that one video. Yeah. It just finds, this stuff finds every little nook and cranny. Crevices. <laughs> I should say the resin does. So this stuff will get in all those little holes and pinholes and get it nice and sealed. That's what we're gonna do right now. Since wood is porous, um, air will get in and come through it. And if you if you don't seal it properly and you just put resin on it, it'll just bubble up and it's just a mess. Refer to this video here to see that shenanigans. So now to seal it, we're using polycrylic. Polycrylic and this little foam brush. Polycrylic was like ten dollars for this amount. Six dollars, and then the foam roller is like five dollars for just the roller and one foam roll. Don't be, uh, don't be stingy. You can never have too much of this stuff. Like, make sure it gets everywhere. We're even gonna do the bottom. Yeah, do the bottom, the sides. Nothing worse than ugly sides of an ottoman tray. This process goes for if you're doing a large table as well that isn't sealed in. Yeah. You could even get wild and crazy and do more than one coat. Who knows? Just have a party. Do you want a regular foam brush for the sides? Okay. The more you put on, the better. Don't put any pressure down, just basically drag it across the surface. Yeah. You don't, the idea is not to take stuff off just to smooth out the surface. It'll make sanding it in between the poly coats easier. So now what are we doing? Uh, I'm taping the bottom of this off so that um, we don't have to sand it. What are the arrows about? Um, if you tape it, if you start taping it in one direction, just try to follow it to where each tape is underneath the next one so that you can just pull it. And Clean it just break. Comes right off. You're not picking that tape, and and so. Oh, that start button. <laughs> have to make another start thing here. You can put the last one underneath the first one, so that it all comes off at once. So basically you just taped it off and then used an exacto blade to cut, cut around. around it. Yes. 
So we sealed it and painted the top orange. Hopefully we won't have the bubble up issue that we had on the large one. I swear it's because you can't it can come through it. Honestly, I don't think anybody's even seen that one. It's we on keep the channel. About it. It's on there. Nobody's seen it. I'm it's, sure. Of I'm it. pretty positive. Or maybe sure I didn't post it yet. I don't know. I'll look. But you keep saying that it's gonna be right here, and then it's never right there. Watch it be right here. Yeah, and we'll see. <laughs> we will see. Taping off makes it a lot cleaner. And the great orange pumpkin. Orange. All right. You know what time it is. Time for fun with resin. Just kidding. It's just art time. Why do you have my hair? All right, guys, we're gonna be doing uh, some odd colors. We did a sample uh, that came out really nice. Uh, we got some orange, which is already the base. Cause I, I didn't want to mix this teal with this orange color. Didn't think it would go very well. So we just based it in the, in the darker orange. And then we're gonna put the teal and white marble effect over it um, and then some gold accents with the Rustoleum gold metallic it's always a good one this is what color it started as the base montana focus focus all right there we go it's red orange montana brand gold series Sounded creepy. You want to mark your cups. Mark it. So you don't mix and match the wrong ones. As usual, we're using our favorite mm -hmm. Rust-Oleum metallic gold spray paint. You can use any gold you like, but if you want to get the same results, this stuff right here. Is the poo. Oh, let's leave Very this over here. It is consistent. It's the most consistent thing we work with in terms of resin life. So client liked the test piece that we posted yesterday. However, she wanted less white, so therefore we're gonna do more aqua and gold. We would incorporate the orange in the top layer, but as you all know, some colors just don't go good together when they're mixed. They turn into a muddy mess. And if you mix any version of green with any version of orange, you're gonna get some version of brown grossness. So to avoid that, we incorporated the orange as the base and we're gonna do all the other stuff on top. To start, we're using seven ounces each of resin and hardener. I'm pretty sure it's seven. Could be eight. But it's even, which is the important thing. And you can never have too much. Resin. Yeah. As long as it's in equal parts, doesn't matter how much it is. Unless it's not enough, then there's a problem. We're using our favorite up to this point, I guess you can't read that, resin, which is by Envirotex Light. We like using it because it's simple one-to-one -one ratio. It has a good working time and- It doesn't stink. It doesn't stink. The hardener is clear and it's FDA approved. So for example, this Ottoman tray may have food come in contact with it. So if you lick it up, you're not gonna die worst case.
I wish we were sponsored by a resin company. That would be super awesome. If you're out there, hit us up. Or a spray paint company. The white we're using is Art District. It's acrylic. I'm sure you went over this, but life. The teal is, I focus. There we go. The teal or aqua is a paint marker, but we took the dauber out. <laughs> I can't, okay, I can. So that we have direct access to paint. It's called Volatile Organic Compound. They could have just said aqua. Anyways, that's what this is. It's an acrylic base paint. You can use any kind of paint or ink. I would strongly discourage anything oil-based for all the just reasons don't. we've listed before. Just don't, just don't do it. You're gonna wanna mix your resin fully and completely, roughly three minutes for this amount. I've listed the reasons a million zillion times, but basically, if you don't, you'll end up with weak spots. You'll have to sand your piece and start over. You'll end up with sticky spots and you are ruined forever. It doesn't dry. <laughs> One of the first ones I did, I, I held out hope that it would set up, but it didn't. It was like, um, like a sticky mouse pad thing, mouse trap, the sticky kind. I don't know what I'm saying, but you know, a fly trap, kind of. For two weeks, I was like, it's gonna set up, it's where it will. It didn't, I had to throw it away, I was sad. Give me another one of these cups. Oh. Cups? Yeah, I We use a wide variety of materials for our resin. Um, in the interest of not making a complete mess, if you use spray paints, don't spray them into a styrofoam or plastic cup because it will melt it. It's exciting, but it's messy if it melts through your cup. So when we use spray paint, we use paper. Also, it's better for the environment. Also, if you're going to use spray paint, wear a respirator and be in a well-ventilated space. Hi, Cujo. What are you doing? You just want to be in the video? I know. <laughs> Don't mind the sound of the airbrush machine. When you're applying your colors, it doesn't really matter what pattern or whatever you want to put them in. It's completely up to you. Also, this is what the gold looks like. And it's always nice to have a rag with uh, alcohol on it to wipe off your gloves if you get the sticky stuff on it. You're not inferring. So that you don't, so, uh, so you don't touch everything and get it all sticky while you're using it. Pro tip. When working with resin, you really want to have a heat gun or a torch around in order to pop the bubbles that you mix into your resin and to make the resin more liquid and easier to uh, manipulate. I had a question today about if you could just use a blow dryer and we often use a blow dryer. However, most of them don't get hot enough to give you the same lacing or cell look that we like to look for when we work with resin. So uh, our heat gun is like 
$25 from Home Depot. I recommend getting one. Also, have parental supervision or an adult present if you use a heat gun or fire. I have to say it. What if like there's an impressionable child out say, there? You always, whenever you say that, it makes me think like we're we're just doing this for the kids. There's a lot of kids on YouTube. It's good to just throw that in there. It doesn't take much with acrylics to make them opaque in the resin. You can always add more, obviously, but you can't take it out also, obviously. So just add it in a little bit at a time till you get the opacity, the opacity? That's a word. I didn't make that one up. Opacity. <laughs> <laughs> to get the opacity that you're looking for. This was one drop. Well, that, that paint is very, it has a lot of pigment in it. I think that's why it was so expensive and then it wasn't selling, I believe. Got it from Azalar Supply. I don't think that's... And then they, they put it on sale for like a dollar or two because it wasn't selling. Because people don't use markers to make murals. Also, I'm pretty sure we've decided that we are going to do giveaways. I think we'll probably start that at, what, 2,000 subscribers? Yeah. We're not far from it. Feel free to like, share, and all those other fun things. Get your friends involved, other artists in your community. Everyone's doing it. So. You want to be like one of the cool kids, whatever. Cool kids. All right, let's get some of this guy going. Who wants some teal? This blowing thing you could do with your face, like Jeff is doing, or you could use a blow dryer, which is a good option so you don't pass out in the middle of blowing resin around. You can also use an airbrush, but the thing with an airbrush is it depends on how high it's turned up. I don't know the proper words for airbrushing, but it could blow too hard and you'll just blow the resin off your piece. using a straw, only better. And use a heat gun or a torch. Be careful not to leave it in one place too long because if you boil your resin, no bueno. it's no bueno. It's already selling up in areas. time you put new resin down, any more resin, always heat it. There's always going to be bubbles. Every time you definitely get some naughty little bubbles. Yeah, I want a lot of motion. Alright, now come back this way.
Put, put a tab of gold right here. Kind of a big one. Hold on. There you go. And then kind of run it over here, maybe. No, in that dark spot. Okay. Like a little island of gold. It's so even, like, I love it. No, I think we need to sacrifice. This is our high tech, dust free area. Very high end. Very state of the art paper, plastic table. You guys can copy if you want. As you guys know, we have a puppy. Therefore, we have puppy hair everywhere. On top of having taped the bottom, it's pretty... Always a good idea to scrape now, because it's a lot easier. Um, and then uh, do it later. And it's a lot easier to get your tape off. There's not so much excess underneath. There you go. All right. All right. Now this is the fun part. You ready for the fun part? Nobody's ready for the fun part. Part. It's done now. Hey. So it's super level, super tiny. And if all goes well, we won't have to do a top coat. We will know in like 12 hours whether we need to do a top coat or not. Well, that's the thing. If we if we didn't mix like too much. It always leaves lines where the paint, where the, where the uh, gold goes. It leaves dips. But if you, if you get a good amount of resin in there, it all leaves it out. It's still evolving. With resin, it'll do that till it dries. Dries, sets. So here's how she turned out. Some great selling and lacing. All over. The gold turned out as expected. Very shiny, very reflective, so you can't see it in the camera because that's awesome. She wanted more teals, more orange, more gold and less white, so we did that. The gold did what we wanted it to do, so that's cool. We're also going to add handles to this piece. But we don't have time today because we have to go finish some countertops. The handles are going to look like... Do you have the handles? Oh. Oops. They don't look like this. Are you changing the color? Yeah, I don't like it.
I'm not using our normal spray paint for these. We're using Montana Black brand and series in the color gold. It's also metallic. Very shiny, but it doesn't work in resin the same way our other kind does. So we reserve that kind for just using in resin. Anyways, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, let us know in the comments below or shoot us an email. We will always respond as soon as possible. Thank you for watching.